Are you worthy? Are you worth it? My name is Deanna Durrell, and if you've been asking those questions of yourself, if you're in a space right now where you know that something is shifting, something really big within you that is going to affect everything else in your life and you're feeling scared, unsure, anxious, raise your hand right now. So in this video, I want to just share with you three simple steps that you can take to overcome this feeling of unworthiness. I was at an event this past weekend in LA and one of the speakers shared her story about being fired from her dream job as um, I think she was in like a nurse support position and it was four days a week and it was beautiful and she was just unexpectedly fired and she sat on a park bench and she started to cry and her inner wisdom was talking to her. This is happening to help you remember your worth, to remember that you are more than this job. She was, a part of her tears had to do with knowing that when she went home and had that conversation with her husband, that they were, they were going to split up. It was kind of the final straw. And all along her intuition had been telling her something wasn't right, but it wasn't until the universe kind of swooped in and, you know, handed her some, some challenging news that she was able to remember in that quiet yet fearful place that who she was was a divine being, something much greater than um, any human experience or any, anything outside of herself. And when I saw her, it brought tears to my eyes because I'm sure there's, there's other of you listening, and myself included, where we've had those moments where we don't know if we're worth it. Right? Am I worthy to be in this relationship? Am I worthy of a relationship? Am I worthy to charge for what I do? All these questions that we have. And the answer is yes. Anyways, I digress. The three steps that I've channeled from spirit for you. Number one is know that you are worthy because you are a divine being. So the principle of be. That's, that's your reasoning. You, if you're waiting for permission, that's it. You are a divine being. Whether you know, you're a single mom, whether you're an entrepreneur, whether you're a CEO, it doesn't matter. You are a divine being and by that law, you are worthy. Okay, step two is claim it. The easiest way I know to do this is to say it out loud, and it may sound silly, it may sound fake. I am worthy of what I want. Keep saying that over and over to yourself. I am worthy of what I want. I am worthy of what I want. I am worthy of what I want. And stand up and say it. The magic is really in the action, and when we can use our voice, we send out that vibration, that intentional vibration into the universe. Step three is celebrate your successes. Most people try to skip over this and go to the next thing, which we talked about last week. And celebrate the successes of other people. So this is about having, this is about collaboration, about the divine feminine that we're moving into, the goddess energy. You guys are all feeling it, I'm sure, right? Partnerships, questions about um, feeling like you don't want to do it alone anymore, whatever that means to you, this is the time. As we head into 2013, it's going to get even stronger, and I'll talk about that in another video. So, again, just to review them really quickly, if you're struggling with unworthiness, one, know that you're worthy because, of your because you are a divine being. Two, claim it and say it. I am worthy of what I want. It also helps you clarify what it is that you say you want. And then three, celebrate your successes. All right, that's what I got for you. If you are not already on my newsletter, why not? Join, it's free. You'll get insider information that I do not broadcast publicly, and we have a lot of fun. So all you have to do is go to this website below, pop in your email, and I will send you a free gift, and I can get to know you better and how I can help. And special invite, if you are thinking about writing a book, people have told you you should write a book, you're feeling a little scared, unsure, should I go traditional publishing, should I not? I'm bringing on a special guest, Scott James, to interview tonight. 
and all the information is up here. He is author of Sidewalk Ritual, which takes place in San Francisco and is about a journey of self-discovery, manifestation, and courage. And he's going to be answering questions about the whole publishing process. He is walking his talk with the self-worth piece, and he is a wonderful, wonderful spirit. So I hope to see you tonight on the call. Go ahead and go to this website and make sure you get your free gift below. I will see you next week and remember you are worthy.